Welcome back to Milan Recording Studios. My name is James Pavel Chakras, and in today's video, I figured I would bring you the only Christmas video, unfortunately, that I will be making for the holiday season of 2019. Basically, I've been really busy this year. Unlike last year, I had lots of time to come up with, I think I did like maybe 10 or 15. It was a lot. It felt like a lot of Christmas videos in 2018. But for 2019, I've been super, super busy, and I just haven't had a lot of time to dedicate time to work on cool arrangements for songs. So instead, I'm going to be bringing you only one Christmas song this year, but it's one of my all-time favorites. I absolutely love this song, and I'm also going to be bringing you a new instrument that I have showed you, but haven't really actually demoed for you lately. And that would be the Deegan Chimes that I bought um, a while ago when I went back to California, when I returned from California to the studio, I actually picked up, actually no, it was the other way around. When I left the studio heading to, to California, I picked up some Deegan Chimes from Taylor Music in um, South Dakota, I believe. And they're really cool instruments and they have an awesome sound. And so I've been wanting to demo them for a very long time. But what perfect song, what better song to demo some chimes that sound like church bells with Carol of the Bells. So I decided to do that. I have, I'm going to be playing the piano. I'm going to be playing the Rhodes. I'm also going to be putting the vibraphone in there, although you really can't hear it. It's just there to add a slight bit of extra resonance to the piece. And of course, the chimes will be very, very prominent in this piece. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like my arrangement, and I hope that you like listening to it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed my rendition of Carol of the Bells with, I believe, four different instruments in there. It was really fun to do, and it's also been one of my all-time favorite Christmas songs. I don't know why, but ever since I was a little tiny child, I loved hearing this, this song, probably because of that really repetitive melody line that repeats over and over and over again. I don't know, maybe that's why I like it. Maybe I just like bells. I don't know. But something about it I've always loved since I was little. Fun fact about this piece that I think I told last year as well, it actually originally was never meant to be a Christmas song. I believe it's, it was more of a New Year's piece. It was, in, uh, it was a traditional Ukrainian folk song that I believe the original lyrics in Ukrainian told of a swallow flying into a small homestead and singing about the wonderful bounties that were going to be, not bounties, but the wonderful, like, things that were going to be happening in the next year. They were going to have like a really bountiful crop and all that stuff. And that's what the original piece was about. But then I believe in the early 1900s, someone came up with the Christmassy bell lyrics that we all know and love today. And then Carol of the Bells became what it is today. So that was just a fun fact about the song. And now I think I'll tell you just a little bit about what was going through my head when I came up with the arrangement. Now, of course, in that song, I had the piano, the Fender Rhodes, the vibraphone and the chimes. That was four different instruments they're all playing at the same time. And what I wanted to do was not only accentuate the the repetitive melody line that we all know and will sing to, but there's also other cool melody, melody lines in the song as well. In the bass hand, you've a bass clef left hand, what it's playing, you've got these other cool melody lines that are just like walking down and stuff. And 
And so I figured instead of having all of the instruments try to play the same melody line, I figured some of them should play that and others should play the bass hand um, side as well. So that's what the vibraphone was doing. The vibraphone was accentuating that left hand bass line and kind of adding to that as well. And then the chimes were also doing acting as a bass line as well. But the piano and the roads, the piano was playing both parts and the roads was mostly accentuating that right hand repetitive melody and adding some jingle and sparkle to the treble end. So that's basically what was going on through my mind. I didn't want to have the chimes playing the repetitive right hand melody line because that would just get too muddy and really wouldn't sound good, I don't think. Um, so that's why I had them act more as of a bass accent instrument. And then in the second half, I did want to avoid it being too repetitive. So in the first half, the chimes were a little bit laid back. And in the second half, I did increase the amount of notes they were playing and increase the complexity of the chimes part for the second half of the piece. And also for the second half of the song, the roads went up an octave as well, just to kind of change things up and make it sound a little bit more sparkly and intense for the second half of the song. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry I'm not, I'm not able to bring out more Christmas music for 2019, but I've been really busy and it's really time consuming, especially when you're doing multiple instruments. Um, you got to record them and arrange the parts for them and all kinds of stuff. So I. I just don't have the time in 2019 to do that. But hopefully for 2020, um, I'll have more time. I have a really cool idea that I want to do involving as many instruments as I possibly can here at the studio. And if that pans out, maybe you'll get to see it in 2020, but it will be a lot of time. And uh, But I really hope that that does pan out. So if you guys are looking forward to more cool songs, definitely go ahead and give this video a like and let me know you enjoyed it. Also, let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. I love reading your comments, and it really makes my day when you guys enjoy what I'm doing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and check out my channel if you're new here. Uh, you might want to think about subscribing if you are new here. I do lots of cool videos of like pianos, organs, keyboards, and also I do songs and covers from time to time. So if any of that sounds cool, you might want to think about subscribing, and if you do subscribe, Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.